What's up guys, Jags here back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and in today's video I'm going to go ahead and drop another hints or I guess tips video on what collections to do. I've been kind of stumped on what I should bring to you guys next since you guys really seem to react well to the tips. You guys really seem to like that. That seems to be what you mainly come to this channel for. But I've been kind of struggling looking for a way to you know kinda help you guys out and recently I've had a little bit of time off so I've kinda been able to do some of the stuff that I normally could not so let's go ahead and take a look at the first few collections that I would recommend doing and the first ones okay think if you are a hoarder like I've said in the past look at these collections I'm not completely sure if I've done a video on them before or not but maybe so okay one of my favorites the stadium collection you you might not even have to buy any of these cards if you are really legitimately hoarding these cards so say you open you know a bundle every now and then or every few weeks or whatever you're gonna have a lot of these cards just laying lying around and particularly if you have say if you buy a pro pack bundle now the one thing that you end up really kind of getting screwed over with when you buy these bundles for say legendary packs all pro packs um, whatever kind of packs you've bought is you're not getting stadiums or you know these bronze and silver players that you normally would be getting if you just bought a bunch of pro packs number one they're generally costing you more coins to buy those special packs anyway number two pro packs will generally provide you with the same amount of players for less and number three you just you don't get you know <laughs> yeah I'm kinda repeating myself here but you just you don't get the extra cards that you know you'd normally consider kinda useless or unvaluable not, not very valuable but anyway if you've watched any of my previous videos you'll know that pretty much before I go into any pack openings I pretty much tell you up front whether it's worth it or not for like the absolute worst offender of this I think was all pro packs I'm not really sure but anyway what they did basically they gave they gave you three players or two players I guess yeah three players three players and basically for the same price as a pro pack no boosted odds no nothing they just end up charging you an extra five thousand plus coins like why would actually I think it's an extra seven thousand five hundred or so I mean that's just stupid okay think of any Walmart or any kind of store that you go to have you ever heard of buying stuff in bulk or you know buy one get one free or like okay buy this many get half off on the last one well EA's logic is about exactly the opposite if you buy more of our stuff then we're gonna screw you over so that's incredibly stupid as you can see I just completed the stadium collection I had like 20 something stadiums just lying around and I just collected those and I just went out and got them again and as you can see I have like a lot of duplicates for those too so I can just go ahead and collect those as well 
So as you can see, I'm just going through and collecting all these duplicates, and if you open as many packs as I do, and I don't even really open that many packs, you will have a lot of these cards lying around. You might just be too lazy to do it, but these badge packs can end up yielding a lot of rewards in them, so I, it's definitely worth it. I definitely advise it. Take your time to go through these and collect. So as you can see, I just, I just whipped out this collection, and now I'm already almost halfway done. I can crank out another. That's one thing that's really good about this year is that you can... As you can see, I got coaches nearly done. I'm gonna go ahead and look through some of these real quick. Collect some of these. Lovey Smith. There's Arian. Joe Philbin. Chip Kelly. So as you can see, if you just kind of, you know, just keep these from your packs instead of going and quick selling them, I assure you the absolute worst thing that you can ever do in a Madden or in a Mutt Madden Ultimate Team is quick sell the cards that you get in a pack. That is the absolute worst offense. It might seem like it could give you a quick shot of coins or it'll give you enough for buying the next pack. It might seem like a good idea at the time, but trust me, you will regret it later on in the year. They are constantly dropping these collections that require cards from a long time ago, particularly for those new to Madden Ultimate Team. The position collections generally come out towards the middle to late year. In Madden 13, they came out nearly at the end. In Madden 25, they were more towards the beginning, um, but definitely hold on to any bronzes, silvers, because like particularly in Madden 13 when they drop those position collections I'll tell you what there are some silver cards they went for you know tens of thousands of coins and you can really make a nice profit off of that so I cannot emphasize to you guys enough how much keeping your bronze and silver cards mean should <laughs> But anyway, as you guys can see, I went ahead and completed this coach collection. And that was not too terribly much money. I mean, I got two three badge reward packs. It's definitely nice. And I'll open those in just a little bit. Let me just see. Oh goodness, I have a lot of dudes. Lewis. <clears throat> Mike Petten, Mike McCoy, Joe Philbin, Lee Reed, Tom Coughlin, Caldwell, Fisher, Carroll. Uh, add to seven. But as you can see, I am already half just one card from that. I can check out my home uniforms as well. Sorry if this video has been a little bit long and drawn out. That's about it. And basically, what I'd recommend doing is you can do one of two things with these badges. What I personally like to do, because I'm kind of lazy and I don't really like to go and sell these on the auction block, is I'll just go ahead and put the badges that I get pretty much into these collections right here. Large quick sell. 
And pretty much what I've been doing is, you know, just putting one into here. I actually have one of the pack openings from previously, and that did not go very well. If y'all saw that, you already know. But in these, you can definitely make it rich. I'm just not really sure about the odds on these, but that's kind of what I choose to do with my coins. I'm kind of lazy, like I said. Don't really care much for the whole putting things up on the auction block thing. Kind of annoying. Kind of takes time. But if y'all want to mess around with that, you certainly can. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I can do better, what I can do in the future, and as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.